Hi everyone, welcome back to my session. In this video, I am going to cover one more model in permutations form. So, all about vowels or consonants in odd places or even places. So, let me tell you one example to understand this information. Let's take this word one C. Here, the information says that out of one C, vowels must be occupied. Vowels must be occupied. Even places only. Even places only. Now see, we have a five different positions. Out of five different positions, we have two even positions. So out of two even, you have to place only vowels. That's why see, in these two places, we have to place A, I. So two vowels can arrange in two places is exactly two factorial ways. The same way, Remaining three consonants can arrange in three factorial ways. That's why, in, if you pick this question, form C vowels occupy even places. Total arrangement is two factorial into three factorial. Factorial is two, three factorial is six, and total number of ways are twelve ways. For example, let's take the same question here. Vowels occupy. Vowels occupy odd places. Vowels occupy odd places. Again, we have it three odd places. Out of three odd places, we have to arrange only two vowels. See, we have it three places. We have to arrange only two vowels. That's why here total arrangement is 3P2. Now, out of three positions, we are occupied two vowels. So, there is a one position is left and remaining two even places. Total, again, three places are left. And those three places, we have to place P consonants. So, those, that arrangement is 3 factorial. Now, you know that 3P2 means 3 factorial by 3 minus 2 factorial into 3 factorial. Now, see, here the answer 3 factorial is multiplied with the 3 factorial, means total number of ways are exactly equal to 36 ways. Vowels and AV, Manaki, even places law occupy chairman. So, one C lo two vowels on time. Two even places on time. Two vowels, two places lo anyways laran chestam, two factorial. Okay, out of five places lo two places already fill in. Remaining three places lo three consonants na arrange chayal. Equal number of places, equal number of letters on time. Arrangement and the factorial of the thing. That's why three consonants, three places lo three factorial ways lo arrange chestam. Okay, well, vowels ni manam odd places lo chapman. For example, out of five positions, no, three odd places. Are three odd places, no, edo per endo positions, no, manam, vowels ni occupy chayach. So, arrangement and the three feet. Manam only rendu positions ni occupy chayasam. So, a position mingle in the and remaining two even places consider chayas. They overall got three positions and the calling on time. In three positions, no, manam, three consonants are at chayali. So, three positions, no, three consonants, no, manam, three factorial ways are at chayas. So, 3P2, we call it NPR formula. Thing. So, NPR is equal to N factorial by N minus R factorial. If you use the formula, you will get the total number of ways is 36. Now, let's see these questions. How many different arrangements can be made from the letters of a word layout so that all vowels come in odd places? Now, see, we have six positions. Out of six positions, Three odd places, three even places. Now, here the question. In layout, if you see the layout board, layout board, they have a three vowels and three consonants. And they clearly mention that vowels come in odd places. We have a three positive, three different places. So, three vowels can be arranged in three places. See, it's three factorial ways. And remaining three consonants arranged in three factorial ways. Now, total arrangement is 6 into 6 is equal to 36 ways. Answer 36. Now let's see this question. How many different arrangements can be made from the letters of the word diamond so that all vowels come in odd places and even places? Now first we'll discuss about odd places. In diamond, if you check the diamond, we have number of vowels are 3. If number of vowels are 3 and the number of consonants are 4. And here vowels comes in odd places. Now see, it is a 7 letter word. 7 letter word. So if it is a 7 letter word, we have 3 even places. 
and four odd places. Now we have to identify that. See, we have to identify that we have to place vowels in odd positions. We have a four places, but we have to arrange only three vowels. That's why here arrangement is four three three. And we are we are going to fill only three positions. One position is still left. And you can add that one position to the even position. Total four positions are left. In those four positions, we have to place consonants. So four consonants can be arranged in four places is four factorial. A four p three means four factorial divided by four minus three factorial. You can take directly four factorial is multiplied with three four factorial. And you know that four factorial is exactly equal to twenty four. Four three two one four three is a twelve. Twelve two is a twenty four. Again, it is twenty-four. Twenty-four is multiplied with another twenty-four, then it becomes one hundred and seven. Let me repeat the square approach, guys. Use this one: a square, two ab, b square. Here, a is equal to two, b is equal to two square four, two ab, two fours are eight, eight twos are sixteen. B square, four square is equal to sixteen. If you go through the sum, you will get one hundred and seven. Now. If you place all the vowels in odd places, then the total number of ways is five seventy six. If you take even places, guys, if you take even places, now we have a three even places and four odd places. Three vowels can arrange in three places is three factorial ways, and four consonants can arrange in remaining four places. It is four factorial ways. So four factorial is twenty four. Three factorial is six. If six is multiplied with the twenty-four, and total number of ways is one hundred and forty. Guys, if you place vowels in odd places, total number of ways are five seventy-six. If you place in even, then the total number of ways are one forty-four. Now let's see this question. How many different arrangements can be made from the letters of both solved so that vowel Always occupy odd positions. Now see, total we have a five letters. Five letters means five positions. We have three odd positions, two even positions. Here number of vowels are o e two. Number of consonants are s l b three. Now here the question vowel occupy odd position. Now see we have a three odd position, but we have to place only two vowels. Here the arrangement is three p two, and remaining three letters can be arranged in three factorial ways. So three p two means again it is a value of three factorial into three factorial and six is multiplied with the six then the total number of ways are thirty six. Let's see this information. What is the number of words formed from the letters of a word over so that vowels and consonants alternate? Now see we have to place over but we have to place vowels and consonants in alternate way. Two vowels. Two consonants, guys. If you place vowel here, we have to place another vowel, and this is consonant, and this is consonant. Again, if you go for another case, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel. That's why see, arranging vowels and consonants in alternative way is two factorial ways. Two factorial ways, and two vowels are arranged in two places is two factorial. Two consonants can be arranged. In two places is two factorial. Now finally, here the answer: total number of ways is exactly equal to eight ways. Guys, you have to place vowels or consonants in alternative way, so you will get two different cases: vowel consonant, vowel consonant. That is case one. Consonant vowel, consonant vowel. Two cases. That's why two cases means two factorial ways. The arrangement is two factorial ways. Now, if you go through the arrangement again, vowels. We have to place two vowels for two positions. It's a two factorial. Two consonants in two positions is two factorial. Here the total number of ways are exactly equal to eight ways. Guys, these are the different model of questions related to the vowels or consonants in either even position or odd position. Just go through this video once again, then you can able to solve these kind of questions.